I hated this movie. Hated, 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 hated this movie. Hated it. What's going on? What's going on? You now tune into the Low Key Podcast. This is episode 21. No rewatch. And right on this episode, I'm going to be with my wife once again, and we're going to be talking about this time our top five worst movies. I'm going to be getting in some of the movies that I absolutely just can't stand. The movies that I feel like I've got some guilty pleasures out here, man. I'm talking about movies that I think critics think are bad, but I. I actually enjoy. So the movies I'm going to be talking about, well, me and my wife are going to be talking about is the movies that we actually don't like. The movies that we will not try to watch or the movies we don't watch at all. Movies we probably watch one time or movies that I know not to watch at all. So I'm going to get into my number one and that's the Twilight Saga. I was never introduced to the Twilight books. I ain't no shit about no Twilight I just know I went to the movies one time. It was a long time ago, long, 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 long time ago. I went to the movies one time with the mother of my kids. And I didn't know what the hell was going on. But I knew it was vampires in this movie. So I'm like, all right, shit, there's some vampires in it. Well, we go see it. We go see the movie. Niggas is walking around in the sunlight sparkling and shit. Like, what the fuck is this? Okay, fuck it. They sparkling in the sunlight. Whatever. All right. Let's go see what niggas about to bite some niggas. I know some niggas about to get bit. Nah, nigga. Niggas ain't got no fangs. Like, what's up? So, we got vampires with no fangs and they sparkle in the daytime. What the fuck is this? What is y'all doing? So, this what we doing with vampires now? Nigga, take me back to the Lost Boys. Give me Blade. I'm good on all that. I ain't nobody trying to see no sparkling. No fangs having vampires running around trying to be on some Dawson's Creek type shit. I'm good on that. So keep Twilight shit. Now, if y'all want to do a remake, hit your boy up. I got some ideas. First of all, shit going to be ready at all. We going there. Fuck that. Twilight got werewolves and shit. Niggas got war- werewolves and shit, and niggas is sitting there looking stupid. You know these niggas waited till the very last movies to have some type of violence, and the fact that that was a vision? Fuck y'all. Twilight. Excuse my language. I'm just saying, though, man, you sit there and go watch some of the vampires, nigga. Hell, I watch an interview with a vampire, nigga. That ain't like no action packed movie with niggas got fangs. Niggas is biting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But that's my number one, man. Twilight Saga. I'm going to let my wife get on and say her number one now. My number one is Napoleon Dynamite. I absolutely hate that movie with a passion. I hate it. My husband, on the other hand, he'll watch it, but I hate that movie. It's just an ignorant movie. It's stupid. As a kid growing up, I was like, "Why would you make a movie like this?" I just, I just, I didn't get it. I didn't like it. It's, I hate that movie. It's ignorant for no reason. It could have been better. That's my number one. I don't know what kind of ganja or special education we used smoking on, but Napoleon Dynamite is not no stupid movie. That (laughs) shit was funny as hell, and it's still funny. You crazy as hell. That motherfucker throw that steak at that damn nigga's head. Man, you crazy. Shout out to everybody like Napoleon Dynamite. That's definitely not one of the ones that's the worst. Shout out to everybody. That's so you movie. like Twilight better than Napoleon Dynamite? No, not necessarily. I mean, I've exactly. watched it, but I didn't okay. say I like it. My number two is Halloween 4 and 5. Listen, I'm a fan of Halloween. Been a fan of Halloween for a long time. Hell, I like all scary movies. That's just me. Halloween come around as far as October. I love that's my holiday. I love it. As far as just uh, trick or treating, as far as kids getting their candy, we used to get our candy. How it used to be, not now. I'm talking about how it used to be. How we was able to go out, have a good time, whatnot. And as far as the horror movies that come on, because I love horror movies. I'm a huge fan of all type of horror movies. All the Friday the Thirteens, all the Nightmare on Elm Street, Chucky's, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, Halloween's, you know. My issue, and the reason why this is on my worst top five, Halloween 4 and 5, is Michael Myers was too damn clean. My nigga had a slick back 
in the clearest, whitest white mask of all time. Like I didn't understand it. Michael 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 Myers was a rugged, like savagely ass nigga. He was roaming around in babysitter houses and back of cars, this and the third. Had, his hair was messed up. Like he wasn't having a slick back. He, like I'm telling you, go watch the trailers. You ain't gotta watch the whole movie. Watch the trailers for Halloween four. And it goes into five too, because he basically got a slick back too. I don't even know how. Like he man, this was it's that happened. I'm fuck it, man. Y'all ain't gonna watch. Halloween 4 at the end, this nigga gets flushed down the damn creek or something, and he come out, he got a straight slick back still. Like, what the hell is going on? Michael Myers never had a slick back, and his mask clear and white as day. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all keep that shit, man. Throw that all the way out the building. But shout out to the new ones, because we already know we got them remakes, 2018 one, man. What? Then we got, uh, because of the whole virus thing, then we got the other one coming out, 2021. You know, Halloween, so we good on that. But that, having him in them slick backs, I mean, his hair was slick back like he had some oil in. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit look crazy. Nah, not my Michael Myers. Nah, my Michael Myers was from the hood. That nigga, <clears throat> the Michael Myers was on 4 and 5, that nigga was definitely from the suburbs. I don't know where the fuck he was going. But that was my number two as far as top five worst movies. My number two is The Last Airbender. Because I thought that was the worst movie. Because I actually watched the cartoon growing up. I watched all of it. And I was excited to see the movie because I thought it would, you know, it would bring real life to the cartoon. And it was horrible. It had nothing to do with the cartoon. I didn't like it at all. Yeah, you kept that short and simple. I got you. I, I got you. Because it wasn't, it, I mean, I just didn't like it because it was not, it wasn't nothing like the cartoon. And I grew up watching the cartoon. So you grow up watching the cartoon, then you get this live fake bootleg. I got what you're saying. And uh, I apologize as far as all my audience. I am, like I said, still, as far as the podcast go, talking off of amp. So if one of us sound like we far away, it's because I'm talking off the phone still. I do have a mic to this, but I didn't want to have to take it all back and forth going, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody still listening. Thank you for still listening, but I'm going to get some things done, and we're going to be sounding even much better and more content, like I said. But anyway, as far as the movie she's talking about, Last Airbender, the only thing I know from that is that it's uh, based on a uh, anime, Naruto, and I've never watched it. I was a Dragon Ball Z fan. Shout out to all my Dragon Ball Z, Goku, Vegeta, you know what's up. Yeah, yeah. Kama, Kama, K. But anyway, <laughs> or it's Kama, yeah. Kama, no, I ain't even going. But anyway, I'm going to go into my uh, number three. My number three for me is Pet Cemetery the Remake 2019, if I'm not mistaken. This was definitely one of the worst ones for the fact that not only in the trailer that they give away that they not going to have the son getting hit, but they're going to have the daughter getting in. Like, oh, okay. Okay, we'll go along with it. It is what it is. You didn't have to get it away. We'll go along with it. Maybe it'll be good. But we basically got a zombie movie, basically. Basically, everybody turned into a zombie looking crazy, but it wasn't the creepiness we got from that first Pet Cemetery. Hearing that little boy laugh when he telling both his parents, come, I want y'all to come play with me. <laughs> like you, you watch the first Pet Cemetery, nineteen eighty something. It was in nineteen eighty nine or nineteen ninety. I don't got the Pacific date, but it was definitely in the nineties. It was either the late eighties, which was nineteen nineteen eighty nine, or the early nineties. Either way, it was one of the creepiest, scariest movies out to this day. It still is. Hearing that little boy talk and laugh and the way they had him a new only, you know, man, yeah. They could keep that one still. But that remake, zombie movie. That's all it was, a zombie movie. And it wasn't a good zombie movie at that. And that's a major problem. You're going to go into this effort to make another Stephen King adaption and what you did with it, which I'm going to be honest, I like it. I like it a lot, but it's not as scary as I hope it should be. And that's more credit to what Tim Carey brought to the TV show in the early 90s with the one that was brought straight to TVT as far as it, but I'm not going to go into all of that. But as far as Pet Cemetery and that remake, y'all definitely need to leave that alone. Leave them alone if y'all not going to keep the uh, same creepiness of that first one, which it wouldn't have made no sense to make a remake because we know what's coming. I don't, I'm just saying that's definitely why that's my 
top number three of worst movies? My number three is Coat of Chucky and the last one. I don't like them. They don't they don't give the original to it. Like it ain't the same Chucky. And I get that it's under new all that stuff, but I like the original Chucky from one to I even like Bride of Chucky. But I don't know, and Son of Chucky, I kinda like that one a little bit. I don't know, not at the beginning so much. But I the last two I cannot stand. It's not the same Chucky. And if you're a Chucky fan, you understand those two are horrible. They they give you an Annabelle feel to them. They don't really give you a Chucky feel. I definitely understand that, but any Chucky movie don't give me no Annabelle feel. Annabelle don't do shit. But I can't put on a list because of the as the atmosphere of those movies and what they bring. So I can get with that as far as the atmosphere. I'm not going to sit there and deny the atmosphere, even though that last Annabelle did not give me the hopes that I thought it should, but I'm still not going to put it in this category basically because it's only five and maybe it'd been 10. I could have put it in here, but I got what you're saying and how you feel about as far as Coda Tucky. I didn't even, even get into those. I ain't even watched those, but, I'm going to get into my number four. My number four is X-Men The Last Stand. Problem with X-Men The Last Stand, if you know anything about the comics, cool. I don't know anything about the comics. I ain't watched the comics. But like I've said in past episodes of the podcast, if I'm talking about Marvel or something like that, when you watch the animated series of X-Men, they basically are the comics. So when it came to the Phoenix Jean Grey turning into the Phoenix, that whole process, no. That's not that movie. It's not even one movie. That goes out, it's, man. You have to do something with that, and you have to make it feel some type of way. And what they did with it was basically make her go around killing it. Oh, y'all already pissed me off, and y'all gonna kill Xavier in the movie at the beginning. Damn, they're basically at the beginning. Like, how y'all gonna kill Professor X? Nigga, what are y'all doing? Y'all flexing. And then y'all gonna leave me. Need a lot? Well, nah, bro. Y'all tripping. I'm done with this already. Then y'all just start off with motherfuckers like boom, 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 boom. No more X-Men. Then you bring in Jack. I mean, then you have Wolverine running around shit, basically crying over Gene and shit the whole movie. And they say, uh, this and that. And they, oh, my life. You know, they had Wolverine on some Jodeci shit. Like, I'm not with that. Like, we don't. I'm good, though, because we got Logan. <laughs> we got Logan. Not that nigga, though. That Wolverine nigga that y'all got, y'all can keep that. But, like I said, that it just threw me way off. And they knew they didn't have enough story they can do with Jean Grey turning into Phoenix because it's a lot of story you got to have with that. It's so much goes into that. And that's why I'm so glad Marvel has those rights now and what they're going to do with that. That's why they keeping it held back so long. And that's why people, I, I feel like people have to understand that you coming fresh off of 20th Century of Fox x-men movies like these movies are still out here these ain't 1999 1996 movies these are 2000s up to now movies that are recent so marvel is like we have to rearrange everything but like i said i ain't gonna go into all of that we're talking about a uh, worst movie so now i'm about to let my wife get into her number four my number four is the mass uh the mass of discussion i mean discussion uh disguise can't get my words out today but i at the i mean it's some funny parts in there that's why it's my number four because it it ain't too bad i mean i might might watch it if if i'm bored and it pop up on the tv but i didn't it was just stupid they i felt like they could have done a whole lot more than they did and it was i felt like it was just they was going around seeing seeing dressing people up like playing dress up in the whole movie it i didn't feel like it had a point which that's the name of the movie or whatever but it wasn't really like it was supposed to be i guess per se i got what you're saying i got what you're saying but that's one of the movies i have not looked at never seen so I can't have an opinion on it. <laughs> Straight up. So I'm going into my last movie as far as my top five worst movies. And that movie is definitely Catwoman with Holly Berry. Don't get it twisted, man. Shout out to Holly Berry. 
And shout out to all my monster ball fans. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to go into <laughs> Shout out to the monster ball fans. But you, you know, already know. But anyway, we're going to go into Catwoman. As far as what they did with Catwoman, let's be clear. I didn't watch this movie at all. Not one bit. I didn't watch this movie. When I seen what they was doing, trailers let alone, we already knew where they was going. You're not doing no Catwoman, mo- Catwoman movie, no Batman. Let's stop. And even if Batman was going to be in this movie and it's still looking like this, I'm still wouldn't going to watch it. Y'all tripping. And it's not about Holly Berry playing Catwoman. You already know that. It ain't about that. It's the direction they took with this movie. I don't know who directed it. I don't know nothing about nothing with this movie. Let's be clear on that. And I'm not trying to find out. (laughs) Like, let's be clear. Shout out to everybody who didn't watch this movie. Let's make it clear. This is the worst of the worst. And we glad this is not in no time to be soon. Sequels had never been made. But I do want to say one thing. Thank you. Thank you, Holly Berry. Thank you. Holly Berry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to get it to my wife <laughs> for her last movie. Top five worst. <clears throat> My last movie is Jack and Jill. I feel like Adam Sandler could have done better, which I I feel he was trying to do like some of that, I guess what everybody else was doing, do different roles and stuff, which he could do that. But in that part, that movie, that it, it didn't fit him the way it would in anything. I guess anything else he do. Like he did, um, I think it's called Zohan or the, when he was the hairdresser, the undercover spy for the hairdresser, and that one kind of worked for him, but he wasn't acting like no woman. And I guess his thing, he can't, I guess he can't act like no woman, or he can't dress up like no woman. It just didn't fit him, because you just kept I kept seeing just double Adam Sandler. I didn't see no woman, so it, it just kept throwing me off. So that's that's my worst movie. And I actually went to the movies to see it, and I ain't seen it since then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I get that. I understand. <laughs> and uh, you, when you you saying that, made me think about a movie that I went to the movie to see that I didn't put on this list that I thought I should have actually put on this list. But it's all right. The movies I got on here, I think, definitely fit the tone. Definitely. But shout out to everybody that's <laughs> going to be tuning in to this episode. Like I said, I ain't made this episode too long. I just wanted to dive into some of the worst movies that we watched. Some of the worst movies that y'all will watch. Give me your opinion on anything. You can definitely know. You can leave some comments. Leave the likes. Leave the dislikes if you want to. It don't matter because we definitely going to keep pushing. But shout out to everybody that's definitely listening, though, man. Straight up. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in and listening to the podcast. And by the way, like I said, you can listen to the podcast on the YouTube page, too. You can check out some skits that I'm doing on YouTube. So shout out to everybody that's tuning in. It's all love. It's definitely all love. And I appreciate everybody that's tuning in. But this was episode 21 of the Low Key Podcast. No rewatch. Thank you for tuning in. It is every simpering, stupid, vacant audience insulting moment of it, unquote, and so on. All together, I use the word hated 10 times.